Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Mm -hmm. Do you think that makes sense? How? All of a sudden, Sylvia Masimo now, the medicine is, has come, and all of a sudden, she doesn't know. All of a sudden, she doesn't know. Eight months, medicine has come in the country, she doesn't know. Does that make sense to you? She's the one that started this. She's the protagonist. She's the proponent of this thing. How is it that medicines would arrive in the country after fighting so hard getting rid of people and at the end of the day she doesn't know that medicine has arrived does that make sense no it doesn't make sense at all it doesn't make sense but what is the issue what is how did this happen how this happened now let me tell you so when the medicine started coming when the medicines started coming when they came um Remember, Biri is now removed. Nyasulu is in. Nyasulu has saved Vasilvia Masebo. Has saved Vasilvia Masebo. Nyasulu has done what these others refused to do. So Nyasulu feels so powerful. He's so powerful. Hello, I've saved you. I've saved you. Without me, this deal wouldn't have gone. Okay? So, 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 Nyasulu feels so powerful. That's why when he went to Zamsa, Nyasulu felt and he was untouchable. He did, he, uh, he made things upside down at Zamsa. Because he knew he, was, he had the backing of the minister, he had the backing of State House. Remember, State House is part of this. So who could touch Nasuru? Who could touch Nasuru? So with the powers that Nasuru had, he also swung into action to also make his own money. Because Nasuru was not part of the people that went to Egypt. He was not part of all these people that got oiled. Because Sylvia Masewa and others, they got oiled for this. But Nyasuru is coming at the is coming at the end to just sign. So Tani he, he has no cut. He has no cut. So he has to make his own money now. He has to make his own money. What does Nyasuru do? Nyasuru procures medicines. Particularly uh, IV fluids, IV fluids, because most of this bulk of this, this deal is uh, IV fluids. He procures IV fluids, 300 containers, 300 containers from Yashi Pharmaceuticals. Yashi Pharmaceuticals. Nyasuru procures the 300, you know. 300 uh, containers from Yashi Pharmaceuticals with the value of almost about three, three, three million. And why is Nyasulu doing this? Nyasulu is doing this because, because Nyasulu knows that medicines are coming from Egypt, but he still goes to Yashi and contracts them. Why is he contracting them? Because he wants to get a cut. He wants to get a cut. The Egyptian, whatever, whatever, he signed it, but he didn't chew anything. So he, 
he orders, you know, medicines from Yashi and the Viki. Which companies, I mean, there are two different companies, but basically they are owned by the same people. And these people, they give Nyasulu some kickbacks. Because Vasuvia Mazimu has eaten money from the Egyptian uh, deal. Victor Nyasulu, he wants to also eat. He contracts Yashi and Vicky to supply the same medicines, especially the IV fluids. In the pretext of, you remember in January, we had cholera. So we had cholera, so yes, we need this. And so they, Yasuru uses that excuse to buy a lot of these IV fluids. Meanwhile, we have IV fluids which have started arriving in the country from Egypt. But Yasuru is not interested in them. He's not interested. He's interested where he has gotten the money. And he's the boss there. So... The tracks that he is receiving, Nyasuru, he has to justify where he has eaten. So he is arriving, tracks which are coming from Yashi, he is receiving them. Tracks which are coming from Egypt, he is saying, these are not interested. Find somewhere where you can take them. And this is how you have these containers marooned in a private institution because there is... What if you like a double double procurement of the same medicines? And since Nyasuru has eaten from, from, from Yashi, he is receiving medicines from Yashi. These ones which are coming from Egypt, after all, Basilvia Bali Yakale, there's there's no need. They can go somewhere else. And I'm saying they have already eaten and they are not interested because look if they were fighting to sort out the emergency how is it that Vasilvia Masebo if, if indeed Vasilvia Masebo if Vasilvia Masebo because I said Vasilvia Masebo is corrupt if she's not corrupt and if they wanted to sort out the emergency if they wanted to sort out the emergency how is it that Medicines which were bought for emergency would land in our, in our country and they don't know about it. Vasilvia doesn't know. If Vasilvia's intention was to bring the medicines for Zambians, if Vasilvia's intention was to bring medicines for Zambians and she fought her way, how is it that the medicines are arriving in the country and she doesn't know about it? It is because the intention was not about the medicines. It is because the intention was not about the emergency. The intention was about getting the money. And since they ate the money, they didn't bother. This is how corrupt Basilia Masebo and the CUPND government is. They ate, they were given money. What happened thereafter, they didn't care. They didn't care. That's all. They didn't care what happened because they had gotten their money. He's already satisfied. They were already given money. What the bother about these medicines? They don't bother. Meanwhile, Nyasuru at Zamsa is saying, what do I have to do with this? Me have, uh, I, I, I need to make my own money. So he's entertaining. The private company that uh, where he has eaten, and he, that is the medicine that is refused is receiving the medicine that came from Egypt. They don't care. This is the issue. This is the issue. Corruption breeding corruption. But Sylvia Masewo didn't go to Egypt with the agency of supplying medicines. It was the agency of putting money in their pockets. And they got their money. And when they got their money, they didn't care about the medicines. Nyasulu also is not interested in the Egyptian whatever. He's interested in this new business that he has started. This is what happened. This is how you found those whatever, marooned at uh, uh, 
uh, that that place. From Egyptian side, nobody is taking responsibility. Nobody. Because, I mean, it is just some bogus guys putting up medicines, putting them in a, in a container and sending them. Where they go, what happens, they don't care. They have also made their money. She has also made money. They don't care. But who suffers? Who suffers? Out of all this nonsense, who suffers? It's the Zambian people. It's the Zambian people. Number one, we have lost money. We have lost money. Number two, which is even very important, very, very important, is that we risk our lives if we consume that medicine, we risk our lives. Zambians risk losing their lives. People will die if they consume that medicine. And I'm saying this because, look, according to the little research that I've done, medicines are supposed to be delivered within two months. Wherever you are buying them, by the time they are put in a container, they must reach their destination. They should not stay more than two months in a container. That is what I've, what, I've, what, I've, what I've found out. That within two months, medicines, wherever, wherever they are packed from in the world, they are supposed to reach the destination within two months. Why? Because containers, containers, especially particularly those kind of containers, they cannot regulate the temperature. They cannot regulate the temperature. Medicines would go bad. Would go bad in those containers. So that's why they want them to be, you know, to be disposed of uh, or to reach their destination within two months. But not to be disposed of. Disposed of. Medicines are made like, you know, it would have a three year, uh, three years, like the IV fluids, they would have three years lifespan. But in a container, they should not stay more than two months. Because medicines have got a way that, in the, there is a way that you look, you look after medicines. We all know most of the time when you buy medicines, you know, they, the temperature is very important. They talk about, you know, keeping medicines in a certain temperature. We know about that. So within, in the container, they shouldn't last more than two months. They should have reached wherever they are going and they should be kept in a certain temp, in, a, in a certain environment suitable for keeping medicines. Now tell me, these medicines from wherever they were coming from, we don't know how long they took for them to move from Egypt to Zambia. We don't know how long they took. And then they arrived in Zambia in January and they have been stored. Mukasuva just in the containers. Are you telling me those medicines are okay? Are you telling me those medicines, in as much as when you open them, you might see a risk, a expiry date? You know, expiry date might be might even be saying 2026, for argument's sake. But even if the even if the expiry date is saying 2026, but if you consider in the manner in which they have been stored, do you think that medicine is okay? And these are the issues that I was talking about to say, even if uh, Sylvia Masebo was saying, no, uh, the issue is under investigation. These are the, some of the questions that members of parliament would have asked Sylvia Masebo on, on. At least these questions they should have asked her to say, now you are saying Z Z ZNS is carrying these, medicine, these medicines, taking them to Zamsa. After staying for eight months there, eh? after staying for seven, eight months, now Z ZNS is carrying them, taking them to Zamsa. From Zamsa, where would they go? And what happens to the people that are going to, 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 to in, in, in take those, uh, those, those medicines? This is a risk. And this is where when they say corruption kills people, this will kill people. People got money, made money out of it, and they didn't care about the medicines themselves. Because it is not about the people, it was about themselves. So now we have a risk, because Sylvia Masse wanted to get a kickback, and she got paid. The medicine that came, she didn't care, 
And now these medicines, for them, because now they are scared, they are scared to say, if we, we don't give them to the people, you know, people will complain. But my brothers and sisters, we would rather, we would rather not take those medicines than take those medicines and risk our lives. We would rather lose money. We would rather lose money. Apa, we have lost money. And this is where I'm saying that Basilia Masi was booked herself for prosecution. Because Zambians have lost money. We have lost money here. The money that we are talking about, this is your money. That's my money. The taxes we pay. That is the money we are talking about. And in this instance, we have lost that money. And, but I'm saying we would rather lose the money than lose lives. If we are going to follow, because Sylvia Masebo wants to cover her face, okay, they will take these medicines into the hospitals so that people can take them, so that they can say, no, we bought medicines and people use them. Unfortunately, you have taken a person in the hospital. A person is receiving medicines, but they still die. It is these kind of situations. Because the medicines that they are being given, it is compromised medicines. This is compromised medicines which Zambians should not allow to go in hospitals. So as Sylvia Masewe is saying, the, the ZNS is carrying those trucks, taking them to wherever, wherever. Can those trucks stop? Can those trucks stop? Let not those, tra those trucks take the medicines into our hospitals. Eh? But why collection them when you have seen the expiry date? Look, the issue of the expiry date might not arise. Listen to what I'm talking about here. The issue of expiry date might not be a safe measure because the expiry date can even say, yes, expiry date is, for argument's sake, 2025. 2025, but this medicine that you are consuming today has been on the sun for eight months, at least for the time that we know. Because if you look at from where, or even where they, where they are coming from and whatever, whatever, you can't guarantee the efficacy of these medicines. These medicines might have even turned into poison now. Because look, when heat is applied on anything, when heat is applied on anything, there is a chemical reaction. On anything, heat, when heat is applied, there is a chemical reaction. And medicines are chemical. Medicines are chemical. So when heat is applied on them, they turn into something else. They turn into something else. And you can't know what that something else is. It might be as well be poison. So those medicines should not be consumed. ZNS is carrying them, taking them where? Those medicines should not go to people. Let us lose the money by Sylvia Masebova, Lydia. It's okay. But let us not lose lives. Let us not lose lives. Don't fall by, you know, the, the, the justification of Sylvia Masebo. There is nothing. There is no justification. Sylvia Masebo cannot say, no, I didn't. No, 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 no. no. She is the one that bulldozed these medicines to come into Zambia. She had people fired because of this, wanting to bring these medicines to Zambia. She labeled it an emergency. How is it that today Sylvia Masewa can say she didn't know? It is not possible. It is not possible. And then, what about Baka in the by himself? Where is his intelligence? Because you, you, you know, like Baka was trying to say, Haka in the is so meticulous, so whatever, whatever, whatever. Ah, meticulous. A meticulous, yeah? Eh? Because these people don't care. What they care for is money. When they have made the money, they just don't care. This is what is happening here. They don't care because for them, they made the money. They made the money, that's it. They don't care. These people don't care. And this is an example. They made the money. They got their money. About the medicine, they don't care. And even now, these medicines, wherever they are going, and 
how they are going to affect the people they don't care they don't care inena mi papa tamwena zambi me i'm just being a brother and i love you i love you i mean even never a praise singer me i don't hate anyone and i don't want people to die because of the corruption of Sylvia Masebo and Haka Ndeichi. I don't want people to die. You will die because of their corruption. Because you consume that medicine so that they can justify to say to Adile Temiti, we bought medicines and people took them. And yet those medicines, they were compromised. And they were compromised because of their corruption. If they had followed the right channel or buy medicines, we wouldn't have had this situation. Because even the medicines that this Nyasuru got from Yashi, they are not in the sun. They were not in the sun like this. Yashi is bringing medicines and in Gabasanga tea, sometimes they don't offload. They have been told. Sometimes they don't offload. But Yashi makes sure that they look after that medicine accordingly, properly. You see the difference? Yashi, I mean, came in dubiously with the, uh, corruptly with, the, with Nyasuru. But at least their medicines they are looking after them you see the difference you see why people like the professor kasonka was against you see why people like uh, 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 magwede were against they were against because of this kind of situation if it was somebody who is supplying medicine if it like the way yashi is supplying medicine because they do in that they make sure that their medicines are properly looked after. But because these ones, these ones were acquired corruptly without following procedures, that is why they were just left there. I'm sure you understand this point. If it was a one private company in Egypt sending medicines into Zambia, they would have made sure that those medicines are not marooned like that. But it's because that side, there is just somebody who is just collecting from a medicine, medicine, put them in a container and send them. Somebody who is corruptly, you know, uh, engaged. This is why procedures are very important. This is your government. This is what has happened. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.